Next, we head to Ingham County, Michigan for the arraignment of Marlena Pavlos Hackney. The restaurant owner is in court for continuously violating state food laws and public health orders during the COVID pandemic. Over several months, Pavlos Hackney defied emergency orders, including mask wearing and social distancing guidelines. The restaurant also remained open for dine-in service during a state-mandated shutdown. At first, Pavlos Hackney's food license was suspended. Then the restaurant was ordered closed until a hearing. When Pavlos Hackney kept it open, a bench warrant was issued and she was arrested on her way to work. Today, she's in circuit court, although she's not alone. Joining her is Richard Martin, founder of an organization designed to help individuals defend their rights against the court system, which they claim is corrupt. Martin is appearing as a legal aid for Pavlos Hackney, but he does not have a law license. And it's clear Judge Rosemary Aquilina has little patience for the wannabe attorney. Why? Why? For myself. I don't what is your anymore. statement? I'll give you one minute. Okay. I was not aware that I would be here other than acting as assistance, not as her lawyer, but as assistance of counsel in this matter to help her because she does have uh, understanding problems of the English language. Sir, apparently you have problems with the English language. This says appearance. It is for Notice a lawyer. Martin has filed to appear before the court as a licensed attorney, which he is not. This gets him a scolding from the judge and a lot more. Do not argue with me because what will happen is you'll get another 93 days and then we'll start over. Your rights remain in, intact, but for today's purposes, you are under arrest for contempt of court, this court. You may be escorted out. Thank you. Martin is taken to jail to begin his sentence of 93 days. Failing to take a cue from Martin, Pavlos Hackney gets off on the wrong foot by interrupting an already irritated judge. May I request to have a... Ma'am, I will address you. If you would like to go out of order, we'll start this 93 days from now. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to provide will be the truth? Like to call the whole truth? And nothing but the truth that are penalty of perjury. I would like to call. Ma'am, ma'am, stop. I know you want to control this room, but this isn't Burger King. When the sign changes to Burger King, you can have it your way. Right now, this is my courtroom, and you will answer my question. Judge Aquilina tries a second time to swear in the defendant. Nothing but the truth under penalty of perjury. Yes or no? Are you going to tell the truth? All right, I'll take that as silence. I understand her attorney is on here. Where is her attorney? He's the chief Again, say anything again without telling me you're going to tell the truth, and I will hold you in contempt of court for 93 days. You will not act disrespectful in this court. Do you understand, ma'am? You certainly may remain silent. Where is your attorney? Finally, Pavlos Hackney's actual attorney, Robert Baker, joins the session via Zoom. So your client has elected to not be able to make a statement because she's not taking the oath. Would, do you wish to proceed, or would you like to speak with her before we proceed? Um. I would like to speak with her prior. I'm not sure she understands what exactly is going on. How much time do you need with her? Uh, maybe five minutes. All right, we're going to find a way to make that happen. When they return, Pavlos Hackney's ordered to remain in jail. Four days later, she's released after paying over $30,000 in fines and closing the restaurant for good. Though Pavlos Hackney continued working with a lawyer, hoping to get her license back to reopen. Thanks for being a fan of CourtCam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.